You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Minister of State for Financial Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, Abed bin Hamid, the Minister of Finance of Kuwait, Naif bin Falah, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Assistant Minister for International Financial Affairs and Macro Fiscal Policies of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Abdul Aziz Al Rashid, who attended on behalf of the Saudi Minister of Finance, met yesterday in Manama, Bahrain. The meeting focused on the progress and results of initiatives activated as part of the Kingdom's Fiscal Balance Program, which was launched in October of 2018 and aims to achieve a balance between government expenditure and revenue by the year 2022. The Ministers of Finance reviewed the Kingdom's achievement in implementing the Fiscal Balance Program's initiatives in line with its established timeframes. The Ministers praised the results achieved thus far and noted the determination of the government authorities to achieve the initiatives thoroughly. The Ministers highlighted the results of an assessment carried out by the Arab Monetary Fund on the implementation of the Fiscal Balance Program, which revealed the significant progress is being made across the program's initiatives and affirms the government's commitment to achieving a balanced budget by 2022. The the ministers went on to note the positive outcomes achieved through implementing the program, which has led to the decline in the actual deficit in the first half of the year 2019 by 37.8% and an increase of non-oil revenues by 47% compared to the same period last year. The ministers expressed their comfort with the results and progress on the program's objectives thus far and noted the essential role of Bahrain's executive bodies in realizing the goals of the program. The ministers concluded by wishing the Kingdom further success in the continued implementation of the program's initiatives. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayn Dezayani, officially inaugurated the world's largest underwater theme park, Dive Bahrain, as announced by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment. The opening follows an inspection by a group of diving professionals from registered dive centers who were able to ensure all safety requirements are fully met to guarantee a safe diving experience and environment necessary for the public. The Minister highlighted that the Dive Bahrain project is expected to bring significant economic returns in line with the strategy of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority to further develop and make use of the Kingdom's seas, beaches and surrounding islands. The minister added that the project was done in consultation with specialized diving centers to ensure the highest standards of safety for public use. The official ceremony included a dive by the minister accompanied by the chief executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, Mohamed Mbarak Bandena, and a number of professional divers. Speaking on the occasion, the chief executive of the Supreme Council for the Environment noted that following the directives of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the park is now open for the enjoyment of enthusiasts and environmentalists. He also highlighted that the eco-friendly theme park was constructed based on the partnership between the Supreme Council for the Environment, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority and the private sector. He went on to explain that the diving park will become a global tourist attraction by which the kingdom will gain a stellar position in the field of ecotourism and marine wildlife preservation, adhering to strict environmental standards and promoting research. Bendaina expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority and the concerned authorities and institutions that contributed to the success of this distinctive project, he added that the theme park's artificial structures constitute a safe environment in which coral reef and a wide range of marine life can thrive, making Dai Bahrain a fantastic conservation area, ideal for research, ecotourism, and the raising of environmental awareness. The minister announced that the park will be open for diving and water sports enthusiasts starting from Saturday. The theme park will include a number of attractions, including additional structures such as a replica of a traditional Bahraini Pearl Merchant's House, artificial coral reefs and other sculptures that will provide a safe haven for coral reef growth and marine life and guarantee the enjoyment for tourists and researchers. Uh, we're delighted to officially launch uh, the underwater dive park today in, in uh, the north of Bahrain. Uh, this is a dream come true. We've worked uh, tirelessly over a few months to acquire the 747, to, to move it uh, to Bahrain, to get it ready and to submerge it. And today it's become from a dream to a reality. Uh, we have uh, embarked on establishing the largest underwater uh, dive park with a, with a dedicated area of 100,000 square meters and the 747 being the focal point in the park with many more attractions to be centered around it. We uh, command and salute the efforts of the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism uh, and Dive Bahrain on this uh, effort that has been ongoing for uh, several months. Uh, we look forward to the, to the dive and uh, certainly having the biggest uh, underwater park in the world would certainly bring more attention to the kingdom but uh, equally important it would attract divers from all around the world to come and enjoy the waters of Bahrain.
A hundred thousand meter cube uh, to the protected area is an added value. We had 1,366 kilometers square. Um, this is also an added value. Uh, marine ecosystems uh, is well protected on this location. Uh, the plane itself has been studied and environmental impact assessment has been done and it was studied environmentally and how much this environmentally friendly. We have made sure that everything has been removed from the plane. Um, rubbers, hydraulics, plastics, all has been removed. Um, it's an addition to the ecosystem of the, of the marine environment in Bahrain, and this is why we're supporting this project. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the formation of the transitional government in the Brother Republic of Sudan, which was earlier announced by Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdouk. The Foreign Ministry affirmed that this is an important step and is reflective of the keenness of all parties on preserving the interests of the brotherly Sudanese people and achieving their aspirations for progress and prosperity. The Ministry presented its sincere congratulations to the brotherly Sudanese people on this achievement, wishing the government every success. It stressed Bahrain's support for any steps and measures that could guide the country to further development and prosperity and enhance its security security and stability.